is, is the Sudanese government aware of what is taking place? Are they taking it, are they owning it, and uh, are they ready to collect it? Officials from Ministry of Foreign Affairs, led by Minister J.J. Odong, have appeared before the Committee of Parliament of Foreign Affairs. They were responding to several issues, including the border point in security, especially between Rwanda and Uganda, and Uganda, South Sudan. Why should, why should Ugandans be punished up to this extent? And even, to some extent, killing them? I think these guns are coming from South Sudan and Congo through the porous borders. Their appearance follows growing insecurity in the Uganda Rwanda border and also Uganda South Sudan border. Is there any written agreement which has been reached between the two governments to address the security concerns? Not just verbal, but can we have something documented? We don't have an agreement with South Sudan on the issue of security. Minister Oriam told the committee that although the two governments of Uganda and South Sudan are in talks, there are still some pending issues between some rebel group led by Juan Selino and the government of South Sudan. Is this group of Selino who are the people who are hell-bent on killing and causing harm to Ugandans across the border? He says there is an ongoing discussion between Uganda and South Sudan to consider a joint security deployment in the affected areas. The Chief of Defence Forces and members of the intelligence service of South Sudan to come to Uganda to meet with their counterparts so that we can draw up a strategy and a plan of joint operations and joint patrolling of that area with the UPDF. Related on the Rwanda issue, the minister says although there have been several talks, there is still a prolonged issue which is yet to be resolved. I think this is the sixth Ugandan to be short. I don't know whether we are acting very fast, especially when it concerns the life of Ugandans on that border. We issued a very strong protest letter and, and, and we requested for a joint investigation on how and why this particular individual uh, was uh, shot. About the evacuation of Ugandans in Afghanistan, the minister says government is considering it on diplomatic grounds. Officials were also tasked to explain the security of Ugandans on external labor. It has been a matter of exchange of notes verbal. Minister Jeje Odong says the minister sometimes gets incapacitated on some issues, especially where government decides to operate in isolation. Odong also clarified on the issue of renowned blogger Fred Kajubi Lumbuye. He says Lumbuye is in Turkey and authorities of the two countries together with Interpol are still discussing the matter. Where is this individual? Continue to discuss with the authorities in Turkey, with Interpol, on how to manage this situation finally. This is not the first time Ugandans get issues at the Rwanda and South Sudan borders. Susan Naonga reporting for ABC TV. Thank you very much.